Travis Thomas here with my bracket for the women's game. Do you have yours? Here are my keys to filling it out. Now, I'm just going to tell you, you have to rely on the star coach and the star player. More so than any other sport, I believe in women's basketball, you are beholden to that combo. Star player, star coach. Keep that in mind as we run through the star players right now to keep your eye on in this tournament. Of course, we start with Caitlin Clark. Now, she is the greatest scorer of all time. No argument. Numbers don't lie, right? I do not believe she's a GOAT, and I don't even believe she can enter the conversation without one title. Does she get that title this year? Maybe. If she does, then you can have the combo. Until then, she's just the greatest scorer we've ever seen. How about this, two for one special? Paige Beckers and Aaliyah Edwards. I mean, these two have carried UConn. That team, they have been decimated with injuries. These two are seniors, been there before, been to Final Fours. I believe these two are gonna be a problem in this tournament for everyone who opposes them. Angel Reese at LSU. I mean, listen, she's a walking double-double. Buckets, crashing boards, you name it, and she does it all with attitude. I'm from Maryland. I am telling you that Baltimore swag is different, but maybe her kryptonite, Camilla Cardozo. <laughs> I mean, look, I understand everyone's upset right now because of the fight. Her image took a hit, I get it, but you know how you make all that go away? You dominate the tournament and you win another national championship. She could make that happen, and I believe she's Angel Reese's potential kryptonite. How about Cameron Brink? Stanford, I mean, all around game, she can do it all. And because of that all around game, Stanford, even though they're being slept on, they're right here again where they always are. In fact, here's my final four prediction. I mean, I hate to be Captain Obvious, but I have to be, don't I? South Carolina. <laughs> the standard is the standard. I mean, Don Staley has set this bar so high. This is the current dynasty. And quite frankly, I don't see it ending anytime soon. So I'm going South Carolina there. I just told you I believe in Stanford. I think they're getting slept on. Never thought I'd see the day. I understand you lose players to the draft. I understand before the season you had players transferring out. Guess what happened? Stanford just keeps on winning. And I think because they're being a little undersold here, a little undervalued, I actually think, believe it or not, they fly under the radar a bit and get back into the Final Four, and then LSU. I had a hard time here. I wanted to pick Iowa, but I just couldn't do it. I was not gonna intimidate LSU. Caitlin Clark is not gonna intimidate LSU. I think LSU gets back to the Final Four, but I will say this, LSU Iowa, to get there, is gonna be higher rated than any men's game you've ever seen. I mean, this is gonna do record numbers in terms of ratings. Everyone's gonna watch it in a way. This could be the natty, but I'll take LSU to get it done. And then I'm going UConn here. Just like Stanford, I think UConn's being slept on. UConn has been decimated by injuries all year, as I mentioned, but led by their seniors, Gino, I don't think has a ton of runs left in him. He's on the back nine of his career. I think the ladies know that. They're gonna go on a run here for Gino, you watch, and they're gonna get back to the final four. Enjoy the madness, everyone. PNC Bank, rooted in communities big and small.